Hi everyone. Well, today I'm going to show you uh, how the LED modes of NERD work. So, uh, as you see in the video, the keyboard is now have uh, all these LEDs turned off. And I'm going to turn them all. Well, the side LED will be on uh, turned on steady and the switch backlight LEDs will uh, take breath. Well, let's see in the video. Okay, I connected the power, I connected the cable to the uh, uh, notebook computer. So now the LEDs are all working. And uh, if you have your computer to which the keyboard is connected, uh, if the computer turn, turned off or if the computer uh, goes into a sleep mode, like a, I mean suspended mode, the, all, all the LEDs on the keyboard will be turned off. And if you turn on your computer again or if you uh, uh, come uh, if you have your computer come back from the sleep mode I mean the suspended mode all the LEDs on the keyboard will turn on again so and and th th uh, this type of modes of LEDs is just one kind of five or six modes of the keyboard you can config uh, you can config the or change the LED modes of the nerd keyboard with a software I released the keyboard a, a command line interface uh, software so you can uh, change its LED modes and uh, delete its hardware micro uh, recorded on your keyboard and if you want to change uh, the LED modes of the keyboard uh, uh, first uh, if you want to change the detailed uh, modes of the LED control you have to use CLI or a GUI interface that I will release later. And if you want to change your LED uh, from uh, working, uh, I mean, if you want to link your LEDs to caps lock or uh, scroll lock or num lock or FN or other keys, uh, you have to press down FN key, FN1 key. Uh, by default, it is your uh, right Windows key. If you uh, have assembled your keyboard in standard ANSI Win key layout. So, I will press down the FN1 key and I will uh, press S. S means side LED. So if you press down FN1 and press down then combo with uh, S key, the, the, the mode of side LED will, will change. Okay, let's see. Now it turned off, okay? Mm. Maybe this will be linked on maybe scroll lock or thumb lock, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, thumb lock. Okay. It is linked on link to thumb lock. If you turn on thumb lock, the side LED will be turned on. And if you turn off 
your DOM lock on your computer, uh, the, the, the side LED will be turned off. Okay, now uh, I will change the LED to another mode. Uh, I have to see with a computer which more mode this this keyboard has now. Uh, I will run nerd config program. I mean the the CLI. Uh, okay, it's on always on mode now. And I will change the dedicated mode of the side LED into uh, blink on input. Okay, now it's blink on input. I will try pressing down any key. Okay, it blinks, right? And I'll uh, change again it to uh, what else will be good? Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. Uh, faster typing, brighter LEDs. Okay. If you choose faster typing uh, and brighter LEDs mode, by default, the, the side LED, the, the LED will be turned off. But if you type any keys, it will uh, slowly, slowly uh, get brighter. Okay. See? Okay. I will type faster. Right. If you uh, keep typing fast, fast, uh, the the LEDs will be at its brightest, uh, at its brightest. Uh, okay, uh, and I I slow I will slow down the typing typing. Okay, okay. See, uh, you can change these LED modes. To your uh, side LED or to your backlight LEDs. The this nerd keyboard has three channels of LEDs. The first one side, uh, the first one indicator. Here you can you see the green light. I, I just turned on caps lock to show there is a dedicated indicator LED. I will turn it off now. Okay, the first one is caps. Indicator LED, the second one, side LED, and the last, the third one, uh, in switch backlight LEDs. You can change uh, each of the LEDs, e uh, the brightness and modes for each LED channel. Uh, the uh, the bright brightness will be controlled. Uh, from 0 to 255 so it has 256 scale you can control the brightness okay uh, this this nerd controller uh, has another uh, very powerful functions and you can see if you have this one Okay, but uh, you know this is not a, just a, a simple keyboard. It's a quite uh, up to date and quite uh, complete, uh, uh, sophisticated keyboard. So you you will have to uh, study or you will have to learn some about this keyboard.
okay you can uh, you can get direct technical support from me because I myself designed this keyboard and this controller on this keyboard okay okay see you see you see you bye